Just like on Trieste, the heart of our new sub is a steel sphere forged in fire. 52 years later, there's still no better solution. The sphere is nature's perfect shape for resisting pressure. And it's going to protect me from the crushing force down at the bottom, over 16,000 pounds per square inch. That's like having two Humvees stacked on your thumbnail. It's taken us three years to design and build this sphere. We have to heat treat the steel to be strong enough to withstand the weight of seven vertical miles of water. We have to know that the sphere is safe. If it buckles on a real dive, it'll implode at hypersonic speed, and I get chummed into a meat cloud in about two microseconds. The clinks I heard um, they tested it the first time when yeah. we got the stress cracking. That hasn't happened. It's 16,000 psi. Looks like we've done it. <laughs> yeah, you got to be happy with that. We're all the way to the top. So it's as you predicted. So it's as you predicted. <laughs> Good on you. When you design technology to do something new, it's going to look strange. The Deep Sea Challenger is a vertical torpedo. It's designed to scream down through the water column at high speed. The reason for that is we'd just rather spend the time at the bottom working, exploring, than going through seven miles of water. There are certain fish that actually will hover over the reef in a vertical position. So nature provided an example of the fact that it's not crazy to think that a submersible can move through the water in an upright position. Deep Sea Challenger is not a stunt vehicle to just go down and set a depth record. It's designed from the ground up as a science platform. There's a hydraulic manipulator arm for taking samples, a sample tray in the science store. There are push cores for taking sediment, a payload bay for instruments, and two 3D cameras, one on the boom and one on the arm. Every single thing on this vehicle has to be built from scratch to withstand the crushing pressure. Thank <laughs> you.